Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to part number five of Human Resource Machine. Last time we left off, we did the string reverse. Today we are going to start off by tackling inventory report. Okie dokie. Inventory check. Accounting verification. Surprise audit. These are a few of my favorite things. So let's get started. For each thing in the inbox, send it to the outbox the total number of matching items on the floor. Take from the inbox. We're going to want to copy it to a tile, right? So copy it to there. So let's imagine we got the A. 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 So. Just out of interest, what happens? Hold on. Yeah, sub 14. What does the result give us? That's what I want to know. So let's just test here, because I, I don't know what a letter minus the letter would be. Oh, wait. Alright, so if it equals zero. Okay, so. I guess it's just logic. Normally you'd have zero and one, so zero falls, one is for true. So. If the answer is zero. Then we want to. it's zero, we're going to copy this to 16. And then we're going to if it's zero, take it to 16. Then we need to increment 14. So we're going to bump 14. And then we're going to want to Well, where we're copying it to, we're copying it to the answer to 16, right? So, copy from here and copy to here. Okay, then get from the inbox. Then that starts off at zero, always starts at zero. Copy to 15. Subtract that. If the answer is zero, we're then going to bump up 16. Bump 14. And then we're going to jump back to all right let's see what happens here so X this should be one two three we should get an answer of three Okay, so how do I stop myself from... We've got the right answer, but we need to then stop ourselves when we get to 14. This is zero total current 
char. Okay. don't know how I can how would I tell it to stop processing I don't know. There's no like, you can't set like an upper limit as such. Unless you can do like a, an is negative. And... So if it's negative, copy from the total and move to the outbox. And then... Negatives is going to be the only way that we can really identify, I guess. Where did I get the negative from there, though? I'm not sure on that one. No, we can't really got anywhere else to go at the moment, have we? How can I determine?
So that's like our like preset up. We don't need to touch that again. Well, this that's our preset up. We are going to need to like do that a couple of times. Let's take it from the inbox. Copy it here. Does that give me this? What does this give me? Does this give me like a different value as before? Can't add with a letter, but I can subtract with a letter. Okay. My goodness. Why did I delete what I had before? Take it from the inbox. Copy it to the current character. Subtract from there. Subtract that and that. If it's zero. It's not zero. If it's zero, if it's zero, copy from there, copy to total inbox. Hold on, actually, no. Copy to zero. So now loop back and come across to here. So then, once we've done that, we do copy from zero, copy to here, 
copy to here. Get from the inbox, copy it to there. Subtract this from this. If it's an answer of zero, then we're going to bump total. And then we're going to jump back to here, at which point we're going to copy from which point then we're going to bump this value and then we're going to go back to here What am I doing? Bump 14 and then I need to get the current character. Answer should be 3. I still don't understand. I still don't understand how to check for the operand. <sighs> right, let's just jump to here. We'll take one from the inbox. And if we add to that value, what does that do for us? I don't know how I meant to like cross reference the types. So I'm gonna have to think about this off camera and I will be back. 